something we're all used to. Cricket, swimming, cross country. What about something that takes it to the next level? Like, uh, I don't know, car racing? Yep, that's right. Today we're looking at a new school sport that's all about burning rubber. Or at the very least, making the rubber relatively warm. But the best part about these cars, these students actually built them. Yeah, a little while back we checked in while they're still under construction. But now they're finished and they're ready to hit the track and race against other schools. It's a track meet we've all dreamed of. Except the cars aren't made of hamburgers. Well, it's race day now. Have you guys run into any dramas with your car? Oh, yeah, today we did. We had some uh, electrical problems. Uh, and overheated and melted the oh, wires. No. Yeah, we got it all sorted now. Now, we caught up with you guys when you were just building your cars. How hard of a process was it to get it all ready for race day? It was pretty hard, yeah. And how long did it take you to finish the car? About 30 weeks. It might sound like a long time, but remember, these guys literally built a car. And if the car was like the school assignment, then race day is like the final exam. Have you got any strategies for getting a good time? Uh, just floor it and hope your car doesn't spin out, I guess. But no, um, in all seriousness, just like take it easy around the corners and um, hit a hit up throttle through the straight, that's about it. Run me through some of these gadgets. What's this? Is this like a self eject button? Uh, no, it's an emergency uh, emergency kill switch. An emergency kill switch? Ugh, wish all the subjects at school had one of those. Am I right? The track is 2.41 kilometers long, but the race goes for a staggering, wait for it, six hours. And during that time, the racers will swap in and swap out so they can stay alert, which they have to because these curves are crazy. Okay, Seth, so you've just finished the race. Is this the kind of prize you get at the end of it? Um, no, I just have a really awesome teacher over there. <laughs> and who supplies you guys with ivy poles? Oh, sometimes, yeah, if we're, if we're good. Now, you look like you've sweated it out. Was it hot out there on the track? Oh, yeah, yeah, with, with, the, um, <laughs> with the sun we've got over here coming out at the moment, um, it's really hot, it's, plus with the engine running. With that engine running, it's, it's just sweat box. Well, you know what they say, unless you sweat, it ain't a school sport. You! Actually, they don't say that at all. I just made it up. But you know, it's totally true. Think about it. Now, you guys spent obviously a lot of time building your car. How did it fare out there on the track? How would you rate it? Um, I'd probably maybe rate it maybe a six or a seven. We we could have we could have done a little better on the car, but overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with what came out of our uh, workshop. Now, I was hearing it could potentially get to speeds of around 67. What did you manage to get it to out on the track? Uh, unfortunately, my dashboard wasn't actually working. Oh, okay. So, I'd say around 65. 65? Because I was, I had um, pedal downhills all the way. So, all the way racing through the track. Yep, no matter the sport, it's the only way to compete with the pedal to the metal. Well, except when you're this guy. You know what? This is definitely the type of classroom I could see myself in. No teacher! What's the age limit in this school? 